What's up, nerds? Okay. Johanna, shall we go? All right. Shall we start back at the heart thing? Yeah. All right. So, first things first, calculating heart rate, okay, from a graph. So, usually what you might have on the y-axis is perhaps pressure changes that are to do with the pressure changes in the atria or the ventricles, or you might have um, electrical changes to do with the sinoatrial node, the atria contracting, the electrical impulses that cause the atria to contract and the ventricles to contract and at diastole. So in either case, what you'll have is kind of changes in the pressure to do with the changes of, uh, or the events of the cardiac cycle. Okay, so you have something like this. Um, maybe this is the ventricular pressure changes, for example. And then on the x-axis, you will, in either case, in either case, you'll have time, maybe in seconds, minutes, whatever. Okay, and then what you have to do is you have to find, so you have to recognize that these events, so each repeating event, is a, is a different cardiac cycle. So that's one cardiac cycle, and that's another cardiac cycle. So as long as you find, so if I, if I recognize that point there in that cardiac cycle, the time it takes to get to the same point in the next cardiac cycle, that time is one, the time it takes for one cardiac cycle which is equivalent to one heartbeat. So as long as I find two parallel or two points that appear to be the same event in the cardiac cycle and find the time it takes between those two points using the scale on the x-axis, that will be the time taken for one heart beat or one cardiac cycle okay and once I have the time so I use the x-axis and I use my ruler and I work out how much time it has taken for one cardiac cycle then the next thing I have to do is work out then how how many if if that's how much time it takes for one beat how many beats will there be in one minute and so what I do is I divide so if it's in uh, if it's in seconds then I would I would I'll take one minute so I'm gonna keep it general here because I don't know what units you might have if it's seconds you'll have to use 60 seconds if it's minutes you'll have to use one minute one minute divided by the time taken for one heart beat or one cardiac cycle so if you divide that by that that should give you your heart rate in beats per minute or you might have it in beats per second which you might have to then convert into minutes okay so that is heart rate